And see, and we're still blessed to be here. <laughs> Uh, we honestly, uh, Pastor Marshall, we have way too much fun sometimes when we're doing these. And, you know, if you could just be in the room with our discussion beforehand, you yeah, know, you'd see Larry, that. You can tell <laughs> he knows. Yeah, but yeah. not going to let him. He, we signed him to a confidentiality statement, right? You know, <laughs> praise God. Well, we're talking about uh, how God cares about you. And so we want to begin today. We want to give you some scripture, okay? And uh, that uh, you can, will help you in understanding. And the first one that he cares about. Amen. He does that relationship. Care. Remember, yeah. we're talking relationship. relationship with our Lord. Amen. So here are some promises from his word. First one is Isaiah 41, verse 13. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who says to you, fear not. I am the one who helps you. And God doesn't just simply send an angel to hold your hand. No. He says he holds your hand himself, you know. The Holy Ghost is Amen. Amen. The God of heaven and earth. Uh, the God of heaven and earth holds your hand. That's an incredible statement. And I know it's a, a figure of expression, you know, but it, it demonstrates his closeness and his personal care. He's not assigning you, okay, you go take care of that, uh, angel, you go take care of that. He personally cares about you, and that to me is uh, phenomenal. He says, I am the one that helps you. Marcia? Yeah, and the next one is, when you pass through the waters, this is Isaiah 43, 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. Hallelujah. There's a new song that we've been singing and it talks about how he's with us in the fire. Yes. He's with us on the mountains. He's with us in the valleys. valleys. Hallelujah. What a relationship. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He Amen. cares about you. Whatever you're going through, he cares about that. I mean, if you're going through a family situation, maybe the, something you have no answers to, he has the answer. We just have to depend on him, trust in him. You know, when it, you were talking about holding our hand. Yeah. The you wanted Jeremiah Klaus that was here. Yes. When he was talking about, uh, or was it Klaus or yeah. Klaus? Klaus. Klaus? Klaus. He was talking about how he was delivered from drugs and um, MS. He had multiple sclerosis, and God healed him. But he believed the word for eight years, and he kept speaking the word and speaking the word. And God says, "Quit it." And so he says, "What?" He says, "Quit doing what you're doing. You, you're." trying to get your healing by what you're doing, not trusting me. Yes. So when you're going through the fire, you've got to trust him. But when you were talking about holding hands, he used the testimony of his friend, who yeah. a lady who walked with God, and yeah. she was his mentor. Yeah, And I she said, let's go take a walk. walk. <laughs> and so she grabbed his hand, and in the other hand, she was holding God's hand. <laughs> yeah. And they walked, and they walked, and he got healed. He, he did, he did. He got it? healed. And yeah. you know what? That's what we need to be aware of. God is holding our hand. As we go through those challenges, those fires, those things that are coming against you right now, your finances, the devil's a liar. No matter what they're saying about the economy, God is not going to let his children Amen. go without. Is Amen. He? You know, I saw that. I passed through the waters. And I don't know about, you know, Marcia, I know you and I have been there, but where you're following God, you know you're following God, and man, but you're in those deep places and you're walking through that and the, the water comes up to your knees. Okay, I'm okay. Water comes up to your waist. Okay, I'm, I'm okay now. I think I'm okay. The water gets up to our chest. You know, uh, I'm not so sure I'm okay, but how about if the water gets up to right below your nose I mean and there have been times when honestly we've been in those places and you probably have too where you felt like man if I take another step uh, now my nose I'm not going to be able to breathe I'm not going to be able to make it and yet man immediately the circumstances of what you're in begin to change and you begin to come up out of that you know and so they pass through the waters uh -huh. didn't say they jumped over them didn't say they delivered over they passed water. through you those. go through circumstances yeah. Yeah. I know you get back and you look back and you go Wow, look what God did for us. That's why we have to know that God cares about us. Amen. Yeah, that's why. Go ahead. Be Meshach, um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, you know, and them <laughs> going into that fire. They didn't know if they were going to be saved no, or not, Marcia. But they, they had, knew they were going to be a Jesus. That, I mean, God One way or the other. Yeah, one right. way or the yeah, other, Jesus you know. And, and, and who shows up? It's not Michael. It's not Gabriel. It's not someone else. It's Jesus. And Jesus is Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm just super 
super blessed by that. Yeah, because it's Jesus that personally holds our hand and walks through right, with and us. Right, he's going to take us through Amen. whatever Amen. fire you're going Do through. Do you hear that? He's going, if you let him hold your hand, he'll walk you through those circumstances. Why? Because he cares for you. He cares about you. He cares about every area in your life. Amen. God bless you. We love you. Get some more scripture tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow. Okay. God bless.